Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Today we will be discussing Takis Fuego's economic impact, specifically when it comes to the Gainesville region. And the realtor we will be specifically discussing is the Walmart Supercenter. We will get more into detail as soon as we figure out exactly what Takis Fuego's is. Takis Fuego's, as seen below in the picture, is a brand of chips that packs a real punch of flavor as described by the seller or the last line of sort of um, manufacturing until it gets to the consumer and this is clearly shown or backed up by the ingredients list shown in the middle of the slide. We can see baking soda, onion powder, uh, and also various seasoning which is embedded within the chips. So first we will discuss the location and then we will trace back exactly how this brand of chips came to be in the local Walmart and we will then go on to infer or see the policy implications brought about the trace back and we will finally determine the economic effects brought upon the policy implications. So to begin our location of Takis Fuego Tortilla Hot Chili Pepper and Lime Chips first originated in Mexico. That was its original location, but because of globalization and through a long line of production policies and partnerships, it was able to arrive to the Walmart on 2009 Southwest 42nd Street, Gainesville, Florida 32608. We will specifically be determining or examining the 4 ounce bag which retails at $1.48. So Walmart, as we know it, is one of the largest distributions in the world. It is only 50 years in the distribution business, which is amazing knowing its economic impacts that it has had all around the globe. That is why it also has 11,400 stores worldwide, which includes most of North America, really. 61,000 trailers and 7,800 drivers are also readily available to make sure that these stores are well supplied. In fact, there are 163 distribution centers, one of them being Alachua County. Alachua County is actually about an hour away, or not Alachua County, just Alachua is about an hour away from Gainesville, so that is the reasoning why there is such a large variety in all the three Walmarts readily available in the sector or area of Gainesville. But since we're more specifically focusing on the one in 2009 Southwest 42nd Street, we will only focus on cer a certain aspect of it. But Walmart, since it has more than 100,000 partners, it is difficult to determine exactly how this one brand of chips has impacted such a great global phenomenon overall. It receives supplies and redistributes at warehouses throughout the United States, which is how Walmart came to be so famous. It contacted manufacturers directly and offered a way in which they could ship their goods at a great price and it provided consumers lower cost of various items in one big super center, kind of similar to Amazon at this point in time. So suppliers are responsible for ensuring that their environment is up to ethical standards of the Global Food Safety Initiative, meaning that the production company in charge of creating or manufacturing Takis Fuegos is responsible for its own regulations. And we will discuss that in the following slide, Takis production, which takes place in Barcel, USA. The subsidiary of Group Bimbo, which Group Bimbo was established in 1945, is actually, or opened up pretty recently, it actually opened up in 2012. Bimbo supplies raw materials to Barcel, USA, which is actually an LLC, which is a limited liability company, meaning it only has so much power within itself, 
mostly the parent company has reign over it. Bimbo's group production depends on the availability of raw materials, which can be obtained from several third-party suppliers in different countries. This sort of fact pertains to the geographical economy, or more specifically Gainesville, because despite what is said on Bimbo and on Barcel's main page, which is also discussed on bullet number six, it is actually doing a form of corporate deception. It is only through the 2019 information packet, which is released by Bimbo, which has approximately over 100 pages, do we see information such as this. The only distribution center which creates Takis is located on 301 North Point Drive, 100 Capo, Texas, 75019. So to summarize, Group Bimbo is the parent company which is headquartered in Mexico City, Mexico. Actually, Bimbo was already trading with the United States prior to in 1978, it began to export businesses. In 1984, actually in 1984, it began to export businesses in the United States and Barcel was bought in 1978. That is my mistake. The company which was bought at during 1978 didn't actually create the chips until 2006 which can be found on their main page the llc in Coppel, texas was established in 2012 due to the high demand from mexico which also has other bar cell manufacturing places and the bar cell usa produces and manufactures takis it relies on truck transport to deliver to cell centers the cell center in this case being the walmart warehouses Walmart, as discussed before, is a large super center or large retailer in which Walmart's cell centers are actually located strategically. Copolis, Texas is in close proximity to actually four other warehouses surrounding the area in Texas. Warehouses travel via trucking to Alachua, which leads to the Gainesville Walmart Supercenter and redistributes the said goods to its consumer. The trucking ships to the said address and the retail location is nearby a few minutes away if you live in the Gainesville region. Overall, in the United States alone, over 1,100 miles are traveled via trucking. So some policy implications are actually corporate deception from Barbell LLC as previous, previously discussed. Bimbo also partakes on this, which is why Reliant on Group Bimbo is a second point. Creation of NAFTA 1994 actually lifted tariffs among North American countries, which allowed Bimbo to thrive. Negotiations tripled as a result, and Bimbo is actually partners with 100 and 28,000 other associates, which not only was part of the reason why it joined or teamed up with Walmart, but also the reason why its products could also be found here in Alachua County, despite it being a Mexican brand. The USMCA provided or conducted a prohibition on export duties, taxes, and other charges, and the waiver of specific custom processing fees which probably accounted for or did account for the production company or the only production company, Barcel, located in Texas. Since this place is located in Texas, the Fair Trade Certification Act and the FDA regulations should still be in place despite there not being much documental evidence that supports it. In fact, the economic effects of such said important factual statistics meant that in 2019, Takis bought in approximately $500 million in revenue to its parent company, Bimbo, and it is the fourth 
global leading tortilla chip. As for Barcel in the United States, there is an increase in job revenue, which is not only located in Texas, but also all around the United States due to the need for marketing to go strong or be strong, in other words. The partnership with Bimbo is also very helpful to Walmart due to the various connections Bimbo has. In fact, Bimbo is among one of the top brands, especially when it comes to snacks. It is related to or compared to Nestle or Nestle and it reels in a more diverse demographic as well for Walmart. So it not only means great partnerships, but also new customers. Customers feel kind of like the effects of globalization, which I will get to next. Despite the references showing up, the globalization that occurred because of this sole bag of Takis chips is actually amazing. It shows how a company that was based thousands of miles away came to be here. I will upload the references in the description box. Thank you, and if you have any questions, here's my email. Have a great day.